Hello, I'm Ant Joblin from The Investing Channel and welcome to Wall Street Connected, the show that highlights what Wall Street's finest are researching online. Today we're going to talk about a dual-listed Canadian mineral exploration company that caught the street's attention recently, Northern Dynasty Minerals. The firm has a single operating segment of the acquisition, exploration and development of mineral properties and its core asset is the Pebble Project located in Alaska, USA. The Pebble Project is seeking to develop a significant deposit of copper, gold, molybdenum and silver into a modern mining operation. According to our proprietary search tracking tool, Trackstar IQ, 43 institutional investors made 43 searches over the last seven days. The stock has had some volatile moves of late ever since the US Army Corps of Engineers rejected the company's proposal to address environmental issues related to dredging materials and waste fluid from the Pebble Mine project. Obviously, having an institution like the US Army in your way can be quite a problem, especially when your entire operations are centered around a loan project. So, news that the US Army Corps of Engineers had accepted the Pebble Partnership's request for appeal was warmly received. Northern Dynasty believes that their request for appeal contains compelling arguments that the Army Corps decision is contrary to law. The proposed mine, known to contain deposits of copper and gold, among other minerals, is in an environmentally sensitive location, draining into Bristol Bay, which houses a productive wild salmon fishery. The next three months will be key and investors are faced with a speculative dilemma. Losing the appeal would be a huge blow for the company and reflected in the stock price, but victory could rally the stock to test highs seen last July when the stock hit $2.48 per share prior to the Army Corps interjection. Historically, the stock has traded as high as $21 per share in the past, which, if the appeal succeeds and the project is successful, is a price range the company would be targeting a return to. However, investors should remember that even if the appeal is successful, the Environment Protection Agency has the right to veto the decision, and President Biden's administration has, so far, promoted environmentalism. That's all we have time for this week, but as usual, make sure you do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. To find out more about our Trackstar IQ data, sign up to our free newsletter at investingchannel.com trackstar.